Maybe you love holding your sister? Yeah. Fern, what do you think? Uh, uh, Fern loves that. I think she's a little tired of laying on All right, so Ivy and I are headed out for a little girl's time out. So I was in Walmart yesterday and I went in the entrance on the far end by the garden center because that's where I got the closest parking. And I had all four kids with me, which actually was my first time taking all four kids into the store with me. And that was actually went over really well. I was really surprised, like firm the sleeping. We actually, we did quite well. I mean, we had a few moments where it was like, all right, don't touch anything. But yeah, it was good overall. Anyway, so I went in the entrance down there at the end and I walked into the plant section, okay? So I'm like, oh my goodness, don't covet. There's so many great plants here. And so I just kind of, you know, was skimming and then I saw one of my most favorite plants is Birds of Paradise. And they had two giant ones with tons of shoots and leaves and they were just amazing. And so when I saw this, I immediately was like, okay, I have to get one of these. But since I had all the kids with me, it would be a lot to manage, four kids and a giant house plant. So anyway. Next morning now, I'm going out to run a few more errands. Got to get some milk and some other things. We're having people over for lunch later. And I'm like, okay, I really hope that plant is there. But I mean, if it's not there, maybe it's just a sign. I have enough plants. I mean, I think you kind of know you have an obsession whenever you go in the plant section. And instead of like shopping because you actually need something, you like find something that you love. And then you're like, I have to find... That's right, not boys, just mommy and Ivy. Just mommy and Ivy. <laughs> Do you like that? Cute pie. Pull your chest strap up a little bit. We're gonna be ready to go in a second. I'm on my chest. Yeah, keep your chest strap on the chest, that's where it goes. You know you have a problem whenever you find the plant first and then you're like, now I've gotta find a place to put this, rather than being like, okay, here's an empty spot in my house where I need a plant. So I'm kind of doing this thing backwards, but yeah, when I saw those, I was like, I gotta have one. Who is your best friend? Kenzie. Kenzie? What does Kenzie do with you? Um, go on hay bales. Go on hay bales? Yeah. That's so fun. Just pulled up, we're about to go inside. I have a feeling if these plants are gone, I know who took them. Because I was on the phone with Jana last night and I was telling her about these things. And so if these plants are gone, I'm gonna guess Jana has them. We'll find out. Oh yeah, don't touch, I know that's that really cute. Toy? That's really cute. You ready to go inside? Yeah. Here we go. All right, we'll see if our plants are here. <gasps> yes. I got, I got. You see them? Oh wow, they got a lot of snake plants in here. Look how pretty, yes, there they are. Yummy yeah, yeah. Okay, so I came for one and found what I was looking for and I actually got two. Because who can resist a good snake plant? Look how huge this thing is. Huge. Love it. Ready, sis? Yeah. Let's go. Also, did not come here for this, but look at this. The little leather accent, the basket. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ivy, come here. You need to try this thing. See if you know how to pedal. You know how to pedal? Ready? Push. You know how to do it? Pedal fast. You're doing it, Ivy. Oh my goodness. So cute. I have never seen anything so cute at Walmart. Whoa. Let's turn around and go back this way, where our cart is. They are stepping up the bike game here. Push that foot, then push the other foot. Then push the other foot. Don't crash, steer the other way. Is it too hard for you? All right, I don't think we're quite ready for pedals, but it is super cute. All right, we're looking for some different pots. I really want to get one of these. I have some more pothos I've been propagating, and I love the hanging planter. I have one of these in my kitchen. 
Hey sis, you can't hold this. This is ceramic. It'll, it can crack. We're gonna put it down there. And let's see. Oh, is that a sign? Somebody just randomly left these over here next to the plants. What in the world? Okay. Yep, I think we need those. Yep. See, we're gonna get those. Oh, let's set them down. Let's set them down next to you right here. Now don't pull them out. That's actually not a good idea. We're gonna put them down in the bottom. We're gonna buy them, okay? You wanna have some? Yeah. I'll give you a sip. When, after we buy them, we have to pay for them first. We haven't bought them. Ooh, that's cute. You wanna get it? Okay, don't drop it. Yes, that's a good idea. Set it right there. Big decisions. Look, pink ball or rubber ducky. You want that for the tub? No. Okay, not tough decision. Easy decision. All right. There you are. You got it? All right. Don't lose it. Somehow managed to get that big boy in here. Big plant. Ivy, you ready to go? What do you think about this? You love it? Let's go home and show it to everybody. I got a Ivy has something to show you. She already took her shoes off. That's a toddler for you. All right, ready? Go on in there. You know how to ride it between your legs? Yeah. Giddy up, horsey. Go to town. You want them both? You get them both. Ride them, cowgirl. I go horses. And it plays a sound on the ears. You hear that? Mommy, There's her ball. So here's my huge monstera. It's getting giant, and I think it might be getting a little root bound. So I'm going to repot that into this and put it down inside of this nice terracotta looking pot, but it's actually plastic. Here's this one. I still need to get it settled in there, but nice and big and beautiful. I'm gonna put that in our master bedroom. So here in my kitchen, I have one of these hanging planters and I've got my pothos growing in here. This thing was literally down to the ground. And so I gave it a little haircut and here are the trimmings. I'm gonna get some roots growing on there. And meanwhile, I bought another one of these and I'm going to get some of these. Huh? Don't mind the dirty dishes. Okay, this thing is the coolest little thing. Kendra got me this for Christmas and I've been propagating different little plants in here. So I have some pothos trimmings and then some of these wandering Jew. These are beautiful. I love them. So um, you can see there the roots. Let me just pull one of these out. So these are ready to go. I'm just gonna stick these down in my pot and hang it up somewhere. One of these is like super long, going out all the way across my windowsill here. <laughs> it's quite a jungle in here. Got the Monstera in, it's a new pot. That thing was pretty root bound. Look at how huge this thing's getting. These, this is just beautiful, I love these leaves. Okay, I need to do some dusting too. These are some dusty plants. Ah, oh, I love it. I decided I'm gonna hang the plant right there. So I'm gonna use my stud finder, find the stud up there. Then I'm gonna pre-drill a little bit. Then I'm gonna put my hook in there and hang the plant. So here we go. Well, I certainly did that the hard way. I was using my cheapo stud finder. I need to get a better one. It's like the cheapest one at Lowe's. But look what I did. Oops. I first drilled that one, then I drilled that one, then I drilled that one. And lastly, I drew the drill this. But I learned something. It's better to start out, if you're looking for the stud, start out with your smallest drill bit. And then if you hit wood, then upsize. That way you don't leave giant holes in your ceiling. I should have done that. So now all that's left is to put my little hook in right into the stud and then I can hang my plant. We're gonna have a pot above the pot, I told Ben. <laughs> like that pot above the pot. 
Just twist it right up in there until it feels tight. I'm gonna be sure that you're past the sheetrock and you're into the stud. Good and strong. There you have it. All right, I'll go get my plant. Ooh, made a big mess with all those holes. Okay, here's my pothos. Let's get you ready for that one tonight. We got the child safety handle going here so Ivy doesn't get an in play with the toothbrushes and everything else. warmth and this will just fill out over time and get even more leaves and as you can see this one here is already starting to grow off a new leaf love it looks a little sparse now but it'll fill out in time thanks for watching and i will say my house is pretty packed full of plants now so i think this time for sure i actually will be taking a break from buying plants for a little while uh, until we can move and get a bigger house. Which, another news break, will not be too far off.